How's it going guys? This is Luke from Coffee House uh, here at Obsessed Garage HQ doing a little bit of Destination OG stuff and I wanted to do a quick overview about uh, this new product that we have coming out called the Fellow Shimmy. Essentially what this is, is it's a little bit of a metal filter that you're able to actually put your ground coffee into and when you go ahead and add it and shake it, it's actually going to filter out um, all of the fine particulates that uh, you know are produced when you grind coffee on a, uh, a home grinder. With those particulates, that level of fine coffee is actually soluble in water. So when you're producing, you know, your actual cup of coffee, your coffee may taste a little more muddy than regular or just kind of not as crisp and clean as you'd like it to. So something like this, where you're actually removing the fines, you know, all of those added fines from your coffee, uh, this is going to help contribute to that. And I know a lot of guys here are going to be like, all right, you know, I came here because I just want like a good cup of coffee. Where does it end? And I think that's, uh, you know, a question that I think maybe you guys were asking yourself when you just started doing detailing in the first place. You know, you started with your uh, your two bucket method and now, you know, you have a wall mounted RO system, all of those things. And you know, it's a bit of a rabbit hole and there is a, there's a level where you'll feel comfortable to stop. As I work and as many of you may work, we're chasing this, you know, level of excellence um, through function that really adds a lot of value to our daily life. So if it's a 30 second shake or something like that for, you know, these are, these are pretty affordable too. If it's something like that, you know, it may, it may help you get to where you want to go. Um, so quick little video, I'm just going to kind of grind some coffee. I'm going to show you how this works and we're going to do some math with our scale here. Um, you know, weigh out what we actually took out of our coffee and, uh, you know, show that it's a little more significant than just, um, you know, the idea of all of this working. All right, so what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna weigh out 50 grams of coffee here, uh, just for a demonstration, you know, 50 exactly. Though. And so um, one thing we're gonna see with this coffee grinder and many coffee grinders is uh, grind retention. The burrs in coffee grinders will hang on to a little bit of coffee, maybe a gram or so. And so I'm gonna add a couple more beans just to get to about 51. There we go just so we know that it's going to hang on to that you know it's going to it's going to be there and um i'll show you how you can get out of that in another video but let's go ahead and add that lock in our little cup right there put this on and then And so one thing I talked about a second ago is uh, to get extra grounds out, you can actually flip this Mocha Master grinder lid upside down and push on it. Um, and it creates a little bit of vacuum pressure that's actually gonna force the extra grounds out of those burrs. So I went ahead and did that, put that back on. And then now I can go ahead and remove this. So take that lid there and then see what we're left up with. 49.8, so hung on to 1.2 grams of coffee. So we've got 49.8 grams of coffee here that I'm going to go ahead and put into the fellow shimmy here, which will then shake and then I will weigh out the fines as well. All right, so we have 49.8 grams from the grinder into this shimmy. So what I'm going to do is go ahead and just shake it for about, you know, 30 seconds or so and then see what we get out of it, you know, run some math and uh, do some numbers and uh, see if it actually makes sense to go for something like this. A quick thing about this too is, so uh, this filter right here is 200 microns, which is very, very fine of a sieve for something like this. And the the standard coffee that you want, uh, you know, for brewed coffee is anywhere from like 700 to 1000 microns. So 200, I mean, is, is way beyond the wayside. It's not something you actually want in your coffee. Those are the solubles that are actually, or the fines that are actually so small, they're soluble. If you were to make even an espresso puck, with coffee this fine, it would be, it would taste horrible and it would it would be almost impassable through that espresso water. All right, so I've shaken this enough. I'm gonna go ahead and just give it a good little tap here, and then let's go ahead and weigh out what we're left with. So after removing the actual bottom of the shimmy here, we're left with uh, a good deal of fines actually, uh, quite quite a significant amount, something that we definitely don't want in our cup of coffee. And uh, for math's sake. Let's go ahead. So 4.1 grams of fines that are completely unusable in my eyes uh, when you're making a cup of coffee, something that would otherwise be in your cup of coffee. If you look at that, you know, we were at 49-ish, so just under 10% uh, or so, you know, maybe 8% 
of your coffee is fines uh, in this, you know, in this respect of this specific grind size or this specific grinder. But this is something we're going to want to avoid. You know, if you're in the business of perfecting that cup of coffee or perfecting, you know, anything in your life like that, this is a valuable tool that you can use to kind of deviate, you know, from just your regular cup. Fines production is something that's very normal in this burr set and this burr configuration. So it's not something to get too freaked out about or anything like that. It's just something to be mindful of. That said, Appreciate you tuning in and learning about the fellow shimmy with me. Um, you know, I'm Luke from Coffee House, and we'll see you next time.